Hi everyone, this is Fagun Shah from Integration Lab and today we are going to see uh, Niches which is a AI writing tool and I created a custom app for that uh, around one month ago and many people are asking uh, for a video. It is little bit different from other apps which you already use to use in public connect like how to generate the content and how to get that content to use in other apps right the process is little bit different so basically i am going to take you through that process today right and yeah make sure you subscribe and press the bell button to get more free custom apps uh, and videos for you okay so yeah let's first go to niches and understand how exactly it works right so this is the niches homepage. this is my own account okay and here on the right hand side you can see something called content plans long form docs and business ideas right now most of the people like 95 percent of people are uh, using niches for its uh, content plan and tools uh, so these are the content tools basically you can use different tool in a single content plan okay so think content plant as uh, some kind of a folder kind of thing so for example if you are generating content for your uh, one of the client right and you are generating facebook ad uh, copy for them you are generating google my business reviews for them right so all of them uh, some content plan will be the company name okay or client name and in that one you will use different tool to generate different kind of contents okay so that is how the basically niches works okay now let's go to public connect so i have already created one workflow uh, you can use anything as a trigger it doesn't matter this is just i am taking you through different useful actions right so bear with me yeah so let's start with the first one so the first one is add content to plan right but before that we can also create a new content plan as i said uh, client name will be the content plan name right but i always prefer most of the time we set up a workflow for a particular client right so we most of the times i go here in niches dashboard and i create the content plan uh, here so let's say project name is abc and now that abc is connected okay now we can go to public connect and select the most used action uh, right is uh, add content to plan right click on connect and here it will if you adding it first time it will give you this option uh, something like this you can name it properly and you can enter your api key by going to this particular link okay and you can copy the, your api key from here enter it here and you should be good to go as i have already connected my niches account i don't need to add that second time okay so i will just click on save now here you can see the list of all of your content plans right and you can select any one of them okay in case it is not visible right you can also map its id as well right so you can see its id in here in the url right and you can go back and paste it here or if it is visible i would prefer that you just select it from here now in tool id you will see different available tools okay so here uh, we are seeing different tools uh, let's select the acronym and let's select the theme as finance right so finance um, finance tone should be i think so professional right so we will pass tone as a professional and now here it asks you for the webhook url so what exactly it means now there are two ways to get the contents one it's generated by niche's side okay uh, one way is you enter a webhook url here uh, and you set up another workflow something like this use niche's as a trigger uh, copy this webhook url and you can paste here right so whenever the content generation process is completed on niche's side it will send that content to that particular webhook okay but i don't like that way uh, 
that much because I don't want to create a separate workflow, right? So I will show you another way as well. By the way, you can use both the ways as well, right? So we are going to select English American as a language and language formality if you in case you want to change it as per your liking, okay? I will do save a sentence request. And in the response, you get processing your copy now and you also get something called QID. Now, this is the most important part in the whole response. We can use this uh, QID to later fetch the content generated for our this inputs, okay? Mm -hmm. But it might take niches more than 25 seconds to actually generate the content. So I always prefer adding at least two minutes of delay in between. And then you can use niches again and let's search for Q, get queued content plan item. Okay. Now we have already connected it. Just click on save. Now it is asking you for the QID. So we are going to map it from the second step, this one. And if we click on save and send test request, it will give us the response finance, financial intelligence and expertise. Okay. So that is an acronym right uh, short film short form kind of thing okay and yeah this is how you actually get the content and if we go here you can see we get the content here as well on the webhook right so yeah most of the people will struggling with this particular thing like they were generating uh, responses for the reviews but they were only getting the qid not the actual reply right so this is how basically it works uh, with the niches app this is not something which i have implemented it is the best way how api should work because sometimes api is uh, for content generation or file uh, uh, file extension changing kind of apis take some time to actually generate the output right so the best way or the best industry practice for this kind of apis is to give you the qid or job id or the task id it uh, the name is different for each app, right? And later you can fetch the result using that job ID, QID or task ID, right? That is the best industry practice for this kind of APIs and you have to follow that. Okay. Now let me just uh, talk you through some another other uh, actions which are available. Uh, okay, so add content to plan we have already seen we can create a blank document if you want uh, create content plan so as we have already uh, created uh, manually so we did not tested that out so let's do ABC XYZ okay uh, let's type description as a description and keyword as a keywords okay and let's do a save and sentence request it says content plan was successfully created and we have its id as well how can we see that if that actually worked or not okay so we can go to niches we can basically go to content plans here and you can see abc xyz was created right so yeah basically this is how you actually use that you can also by the way you can delete a content plan you can uh, delete content plan content as well delete a document uh, you can get the content of a particular content plan so all the content which you generated for example if you generated uh, different content for this one right so phoenix is there so you can get that content as well uh, list all tools is not that much helpful for you as of now list all content plus can be useful okay uh, view document is again useful once you generate a document using a template right now here comes the main part in niches in order to use template you have to first create a custom template okay so if you go to long form docs okay uh, in here you have to actually create a template so here i have selected uh, uh, i have created one biography custom template okay you can ask more question regarding this in their niches group okay so basically you need to create a custom template and then let me just show you don't use the deprecated one i have added some extra fields in there so that's why i have deprecated the old one so yeah you can select the custom uh, template which you create and all the custom fields which you have set up in that template will be available here 
and once the content is generated it will be sent on to webhook url which you set up here okay so yeah basically this is how you do it let's try with something like mahatma gandhi so india without violence right and about father of india okay and let's place the url oh, sorry i will just put this back recapture the response yes and i will add the url here let's do a save and send test request uh, okay so here you can see it doesn't return any id okay so it is a little bit different from the content generation from tools right and yeah so basically whenever the content is ready it will actually send that data to that particular webhook url okay here you can see this little yellow dot which means that it is still processing you know it is still not completed you can see all the older request uh, they all are green dot okay which means they they have already received the request and already processed request as well okay so let me refresh one more time this sometimes takes more time than expected so yeah we should be able to get the result here yeah okay so here it is and you can see that uh we have got the content here quite a long content here okay so yeah basically this is how you can get the long content as well in here okay yeah so this is it make sure you keep on using niches app let me know if you have any suggestions or if you have any questions i am open for that and yeah uh keep automating uh keep uh, saving time for your family and friends yeah and uh, make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel for more videos and custom apps like this okay thank you bye bye see you in the next video